Good morning everyone. I am about to head out to Waitrose to do a bit of shopping and I thought I would just say hello and welcome to a new vlog. I finally found my little debris thing that attaches the camera to my car but I hadn't found it for so long. One second, it's the postman. Hi. Lovely. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Amazon box. Um, yeah, so I finally found the little thing that attaches my camera to the car, but in this new car, we, oh, let's turn that down. In this new car, the windscreen is so angled that I can't use it on my windscreen. So you are currently attached to, you know, the area that, um, I can't get out now, <laughs> the area that, uh, is the sat nav screen and everything like that which is not ideal so i'm gonna have to find a new i can't get out the amazon guy is still parked there i'm gonna have to find a new attachment thingy for my car because i was watching an old youtube video of mine from five years ago and i realized that i talk to you mostly in the car and i probably talk to you most freely when i'm in the car because i'm on my own and i've missed that I was watching this video, it's from 2017, and I, I'm just so much more chatty with you guys. I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm five years older, five years more jaded, five years more tired, I don't know. But anyway, I decided I'm going to get the, a new little doobly thing to attach you to my car. However, today is the last day of half term, and I should have should have gone to the gym today i am dressed in gym kit under this balman jacket however i slept so badly this is like i feel like i'm on groundhog day repeat all the time but i was awake till two then got up again at four i think because i was so hot i think i said all this at the end of last week's video so continuity for you <laughs> but um yeah i i just didn't uh, i didn't sleep and i'm feeling very very i don't know jittery and a little bit on edge if i'm honest and unable to focus so i'm just gonna go and get some bits and pieces for tonight's dinner because we've run out of vegetables <laughs> and then i'm going to go back and have some lunch i'm going to have a big lunch i think a really big lunch i'm going to make myself a massive salad and a nice piece of salmon in the air fryer oh my goodness have i told you about the air fryer so i had bought this air fryer a while ago and then i never got to grips with it i didn't really work out how to use it but my eldest daughter took it upon herself to work out the best way to get the best out of the air fryer and now I am obsessed I mean she is obsessed with it but I am so obsessed especially for making salmon because it just doesn't stink the house out and it it cooks in 10 minutes I'm obsessed so yesterday I did salmon for dinner but I had also marinated two extra pieces so I'm gonna cook those up for lunch and oh sorry about the light I'm gonna cook those up for lunch and I'll have one with my salad actually guys to be honest i kind of like it stuck down here rather than up there on my windscreen because when it's up on my windscreen i feel that people look at me that i've got something stuck to the windscreen so i think down here if you don't mind this angle i think it's working for me although it's quite dark yeah it's gone very dark that's not good is it i guess it depends where the sun is anyway i digress last day of half term my husband comes back tomorrow morning he's taking an overnight flight tonight and looking forward to a quiet weekend although i've just had an invitation to annabelle's for tomorrow night and i think it's the halloween party and i'm really not up for that at the moment and i know that my husband okay this light's not good i'm gonna catch up with you when the light is better sorry <laughs> okay so Waitrose shop is done. I was very quick. Oh, the light. I was very quick and I got everything I needed. I was very quick and I got everything I needed, like in super quick time. 
I think. Although always, whenever I do this and I go home and realize there's always one thing at least that I forgot. And quite often it is the one thing that I went for is the one thing I forget. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I look a bit of a ragamuffin today, but that is because I'm going to get my hair done. I should have worn sunglasses. Ah, and that's no good, you can't see me. Oh my goodness, I should have worn sunglasses. I just want to get my roots done. I don't really want anything else. I don't really want her to blow dry my hair. I'm not sure how she's gonna feel about that. But I'm loving doing my own hair in terms of blow dry with my shark, the new shark that I showed you last week. I really like it. So I'm hoping that she's not gonna take offense if I ask her to not blow dry my hair. I just literally want the roots color done and that's it. I'm even happy to go home and wash it, although I don't really fancy driving home with dye in my hair, but I'd even do that. I just, I'm so hopeless at dyeing my own roots that it's worth it for me to go just for that. But other than that, I don't really need anyone to be doing anything else on my hair. And it also, I only have an hour turnaround, so I don't know how that's gonna work. This light, guys, the sun is very, very bright, although it's cloudy and I'm convinced it's going to rain, although I checked the weather forecast and it is not. So, as I mentioned last week, I basically became a bit of a hermit last week, you know, in, for the kids' half term and sorry guys it is i can see now why it is better for me to have you attached to the windscreen up there because down here the light is just terrible horrendous anyway we are home i'm parked i just need to unload the shopping bags and go and eat I don't even know if I've got the energy to make a salad, but I know that I need to eat more fiber and therefore I have to make this salad. This is my salad. I've got iceberg lettuce, avocado, cucumber, some cheese, and then I've just drizzled it with a chili, olive oil, and lots of balsamic vinegar. And meanwhile, the salmon is cooking in the air fryer, so I'll have that after I finish this. <laughs> to perfection and two fillets I put it in for anywhere between seven to nine minutes depending on how big the fillets are this is actually a little bit overdone I put this in for ten minutes by mistake I think about seven or eight minutes would have done it it has been a weird day today really weird I'm back in the car as you can tell I've just parked to, oh, I'm trying to sort my car out. Uh, just parked, going to go and get my grey roots seen to. Look at that. Can you see? Hate it. So I'm just going to go to go and get my grey roots coloured. And I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. You can probably tell I'm on zero energy. I'm so tired and it's not because I've been active. It's because I just didn't get enough sleep and it's been going on for three days. So, tonight I was hoping to get an early night. However, I need to make sure that I've tidied up all the mess that is in the bedroom and in the dressing room because I'm still mid declutter, as you know. I'm just going to have to um, put those things away somewhere where they're out of the way, but somewhere where I can get to them so I can continue to declutter them. It's not ideal. It's not making me feel enthused and I'm not feeling like I've achieved anything. I know I've achieved a lot, but I feel like I haven't finished it. So anyway, that would be the plan for the evening. I'm not going out tonight, obviously. Thank God I'm not going out tonight because I really don't think I'd be great company. I'm probably sounding really, really whiny right now. I'm very sorry. But anyway, yeah, let's head in and get these roots done. Good morning my lovelies. We are halfway through the week but I just needed a bit of downtime. 
I have been busy though. There's two videos that went up last week. So I was busy and a blog post. So if you haven't seen those, I'll link those for you down below. We've got a few events this week and I'm just about to head out. We're currently joined by, there's Hercules. And I don't know if you can tell, that little blob right there is Hermes. He's sitting on the bed there as well. So they're both sleeping in here while I was getting ready to go out. I'm just wearing all black today. I don't know why, but we are. I'm kind of loving my makeup right now. I was decluttering. Oh, it's a bit, a bit bright. I was decluttering some makeup and I found an old, it's like a bronzer, but also a highlighter from Kevin O'Quinn. And that's literally all I have on my cheeks. And I love it. It kind of sculpts and highlights. That's better. It sculpts and highlights at the same time. It's absolutely wonderful. If it's still available, I will link it below. I definitely think if you were to buy one makeup product, this should be it. I love what it's doing to my skin. It gives me like kind of glass skin without having to do very much. <laughs> it's just a couple of swipes of a brush. Anyway, we are heading out. Hopefully I can take you with me to the events. There's about three events I think we're doing and they should be good. A little bit different from my norm, a little bit more fashion and style rather than beauty. So it should be fun. Good morning. <laughs> I feel like I just said good morning but I didn't manage to film anything at either of the events I went to. I put it up on Instagram, on stories, but I just didn't manage to get my camera out. It was just too difficult. There were too many people around. I don't like taking out my camera and shoving it into people's faces, you know, especially, yeah, at the first event, it was a fashion press day and I was just being shown around all the different designers wasn't really something you could I couldn't film it I am so sorry I am so sorry I am off to another press day today it's another fashion style one there should be some beautiful handbags as well so I promise I'm gonna try to film I'm sorry I don't know what else to say I am sorry but um, I am pretty much wearing a very similar outfit today I'm gonna take you to the mirror honestly I don't know why it is so difficult to film when I'm out it really shouldn't be. Anyway, I'm wearing this old Reese jumper. I just love the way it cuts away on the shoulders like this. And I'm actually wearing the same trousers that I wore yesterday. I'm going to wear the same Alexander McQueen trainers. And I think I'm going to have to wear my trench. I'm going to wear my Burberry trench because it is really bad weather outside. It's pouring with rain. Makeup is done. Actually, not too much makeup, just a lot of skincare, which was the same thing as yesterday. So. I'm really, oh, I can just see a little spot of mascara. I need to go and fix that. I've just arrived at La Lage. Just as I was getting here, it started pouring with rain. So I probably look like a bit of a drowned rat. And um, I'm gonna have a hot coffee just to warm myself up because I'm so cold. But just have a look at these beautiful bags. I mean, just the colors, first of all, how gorgeous is that tan one? The colors are beautiful. This gorgeous raspberry, this lovely burgundy. You know how much I love a burgundy bag. Absolutely gorgeous. The craftsmanship on these bags is on another level. How dainty is this? Just so you get an idea of the size. It is so gorgeous. And I think that in the other room, through there, there's some other bits to see, some clothing. So I'll go and have a look at that afterwards. Oh my goodness, look at this one. What a lovely clutch. Oh, absolutely stunning. Oh, there's all this gorgeous food here as well, which I can't have because I am trying to do keto. Oh, I could have those and just not have the blinis. Maybe I could. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I oh, said so there's how many pockets in there? One, two, three, Lovely. and then you've got the zip inside as well. Oh, yeah. And it's all lined in suede, and it has the crossbody back uh, strap. strap. Lovely. Yeah. So that one's 895. Um, you're really and well priced. And yeah, how much did you say something So this like? one, this one is eight nine five as well. And that, and that one, one similar price. Um, these ones here seven fifty. This is the Odette. 
and with pink suede. Oh, lining. I love it. Again with the cross strap. Beautiful. And central zip. So you can keep lots of organisation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, the beauty of all of these is that they're just they're very classic, very stunning. We also have that in wine, and there are three different types of leather. So you've got the, the mock rock, the parmalato, which is like this one, finer one. That colour as well, that raspberry fabulous, is fabulous, isn't, it? isn't it? Beautiful, lovely. A little Valentine's red. Yeah. And then you have the alce, which is this is a much softer leather. Oh yes, it kind of looks yeah. slightly padded, doesn't it? Yes, it almost it does. Almost, it's just, it's yeah. just the, the, the style of the leather. What did you say this one was called? This is the Parmalato and it's the Fontaine design. It's called the Fontaine Mignon, which is the little, little I love one. It. Oh my goodness, look at this yeah. one. So this is called the East West. East West in taupe. In taupe. It's 750, 775, sorry. Isn't she beautiful? She's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if the colour comes across. Ah, that's better. Now you can really see that yeah. taupe colour. Oh, and this colour is so wearable. Like, you could wear this throughout the year. It's not a season bag. Oh, you can see how beautiful that hardware was, the way that just shone in the light. It's not an autumn bag. It is an all year round bag. Absolutely love it. I love that it comes with a crossbody strap as well. Or you could just wear it over your shoulder. I never know how to do this it's tying it around yeah, thing. I make such a mess whenever I do it. <laughs> it's important to sort of start in the middle and work sort of both ways around. These ones are obviously specially made for these bags so they're the right length. <laughs> Film yeah. under my arm. It's <laughs> not really happening. You do it on the table. Oh, what lovely, lovely tones in there! Isn't really it lovely? Beautiful. Yeah. So, so you could really change up the you look of the bag with a completely different. Yeah, and you can have different colours. I bought another colour up to show you. So, this is sort of you know shows how it goes into summer, and then. And would you would you always have the end of it over the front, or would you have it flapped over um, the back? I think it's quite nice there, like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, little darling. That's lovely. She's really cute. But it's it's cute. And then I'll take that one off, and I'll show you the, how you can quickly change. Okay. The, the whole look with just a ribbon. And those ribbons are just a uh, such a yeah. lovely gift. Idea. If you know someone's already got. The bag. bag. Exactly. In fact, quite a lot of, I mean, generally speaking, people will buy a couple of ribbons with the bag because you can see, look, you go oh, and then yes. you change the colour and look how it changes the bag. Take, take it straight into autumn. autumn yeah. yeah. And also, you know, if you're wearing a coat or a exactly. scarf or you can, gloves you can and you can match, match it, it or, yeah. or, or, you know, bring out a colour or a tone yeah. of whatever you might be wearing. Yeah. You know the whole matching shoes and bag thing. You might not want to do that, yeah, but this exactly. way you match. It's just coordinating or picking up a colour or a tone or whatever. You just learnt the secret there. <laughs> I didn't realise you had to put it through the little buckle. Yeah, and that's what holds it in place. And the beauty of this is also it protects the handle as well. Yes, which is so nice. So you've got it's sort of a double whammy, really. Oh, that's it. No, not tying. Well, I think we've learned something <laughs> new. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, the detail on the buttons and the, the... Oh, it's a flap. That's beautiful. I mean, it's almost like if you were a winter bride, yes. that would be beautiful as you're going... What's yeah. it called? Going, going away, away outfit? outfit. Yeah. And then you've got the white gift. Stunning. And what is this? Is this wool it's or wool cashmere? cashmere? Yeah. So this they've got this one which is in the cream with a shawl collar. Yeah. And then you have a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I mean, when I say formal, I just mean more yeah. like work. Yeah. Appropriate. Yeah. So isn't it's, it? just, it's just a, a different collar line. It's got the four buttons, but it's got the similar back at the back. Oh, that is beautiful. I so bet when you walk with that flap, yeah. it just looks stunning. 
So this, this is available all year round, um, and it comes in a wonderful array of fabulous jewel colours. So you've got this, which is the peacock, and then you've obviously got it in ivories and black. Does it come as a suit, or you buy you the buy separates? It how you like, yes. Yeah. So you, could, you could have a dress underneath it if you wanted, yeah. or the trousers, or um, skirt. I just couldn't resist trying on one of these blazers. This is in a crushed velvet. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope it's coming through. Yeah, that's better. You can see it better there. It's so beautifully tailored. Actually the right length, even for a little five foot two person like me. Absolutely gorgeous. Why don't we pair it with this beauty, which is making my mouth water, the color of it, just a little pop. Look at that. Ready to be a lady that lunches. <laughs> this beautiful spread. Sadly, I cannot have any of it. These figs apparently have come directly from Catkins Garden. Where is it? Sussex, in West Sussex, in the South Downs National Park. can't believe you can grow figs. Do you grow them in a greenhouse? No, 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 it's a tree outside. Oh. It's it's hundreds of years old. I mean, it was, it's there long before we were there. Oh. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful tree, so it just falls down, it strips with these figs. <laughs> if only I wasn't in keto. <laughs> Good morning, my lovelies. I am in the car, as you can see, and I am rushing to my dentist appointment, my orthodontist appointment. This should be the kind of final. I've done my last two weeks with my Invisalign. Can you believe it? It's been a year and a half. I'm not going to go into it too much today because I think I'm going to do a sit down video with like going through everything because there's always there's been so many questions which I've been answering here and there sporadically let's concentrate on the traffic yeah I've been answering all the questions sporadically here and there when it comes to my teeth and my teeth journey but I think that I'm going to do a long sit down video and do the whole kind of journey and what I thought of it and how it's gone but um, yeah, so I'm heading into the orthodontist now. I haven't even caught you up on uh, Lalage yesterday. My God, I was blown away by the handbags. The clothes are beautiful, impeccable, timeless pieces, like classical, timeless pieces, absolutely stunning. But I will catch you up on everything afterwards. Oh, I cannot get this light right. Should not be holding the camera either, but I'm at a red light. I'm having a real Friday Friday as well. Like the hair is scraped back, as you can see. And there's a reason for that. I will fill you in on that also when I get home. I'm wearing my new Reese jacket, which you will have seen in my most recent video, in my little haul video, which I hope you watched. If you didn't, I'll link it somewhere up here so you can see it. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully when you see me, well, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe another couple of weeks if there are any more trays, I don't know, we'll see. We cut you from the pre-treatment position from here to here. <laughs> oh my god. I'll repeat that. So that's pre-treatment. Pre -treatment. Yeah. Post-treatment and current position. Wow. Pre-treatment is blue. That's and how much movement we've had. Exactly. Wow. So if I open this up, you can see these teeth have moved this amount back. That is about three or four millimeters. Pre-treatment. Oh my God, it's completely changed the angle of curvature. Yeah, we call it the arch shape or arch form. So from more of a narrow and, and, and V-shaped upper arch form yeah. to more of a you ship how horse you ship um. well my appointment is done and we kind of both decided because i felt like i needed a little bit more movement just those last finessing touches so i'm going to wear these for another month with the bands i got new chewies as well and i'm going to change the bands twice a day just to really get that last little bit of movement but we are on the home stretch I will do, as I said, a full 
sit down video with the whole journey so if you have any questions about Invisalign I can't believe the number of questions I've had during my whole journey on Invisalign both from friends in real life and you know via social media but if you have any then leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to try and answer them when I do the sit down video also just before I drive off a massive shout out to my lipstick which has stayed on even after all the prodding around in the mouth you know obviously he's wearing gloves but you would expect it all to have come off on his gloves but I think just check in the mirror I mean it's less than it was but there's still a good amount of lipstick left so I'll just tell you what my lipstick combo was I use spice lip liner all over and then I used one of the by Terry lipsticks over the top which is kind of like a semi matte and it's just it stayed on I'm so impressed I am home now <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at my son through the window but I'm home and yeah i was going to tell you about my hair so the reason that i've slicked it back like this is because i put oil in it last night you know i put oil in my hair like once a week and i put oil in it last night and i did not have time to wash it out this morning so i decided to just kind of embrace that slicked back look and that's why it's looking like that you can actually see the oil well maybe you can't but it's looking a little bit sad so I'm going to wash that out later, I think. But I might just leave it like this for the day, wash it out in the afternoon. I can't even sit in my normal place because look, that is all the clothes that I have taken out to sell. There's things still in their wrappers, as you can see. So many things still with their tags on. And all of this is to sell as well. So many beautiful things, but... I just don't need to have so many beautiful things. I have enough. I'm very grateful for everything I have. And as you will have seen, I did just buy a few extra pieces. If you didn't see it in my last haul video, I bought a couple of extra pieces, just things that were missing, that were gaps, or to replace stuff that, you know, like I'm selling or that I've given to charity or that don't fit me anymore. They're just not right for me now. So kind of replacing those things as well. But yeah, I'm back and it's, I feel very Friday-ish and it's really, really nice. I'm not even wearing a bra, I'm just wearing like a crop top thing, which is, it feels so liberating, really, really does. I don't know if anyone else feels like that. It feels like the weekend has come early because I'm not wearing a proper bra bra. <laughs> it's a bizarre thing to say, isn't it? But in other news, I got really, really, really quickly, just put a tiny little bit of makeup on my face and I'm actually really liking this as an autumn face. It's basically bronzer and mascara. I mean, let's not overcomplicate things. It's bronzer, mascara, and that lipstick that I was just telling you about in the car. And that kind of is, is it, really, to be honest. Oh, concealer, obviously, under my eyes, because, you know. But I'm kind of playing a little bit with makeup more than I had done for a while. I think it's the change of season. This is probably my favorite season of the year, just because I get to wear my jumpers, I get to wear all my coats. I am completely a coat and jacket girl sheepskins and that kind of thing i might show you some of my favorite sheepskins in this video because i just literally love them my nails don't even look at them i'm gonna do my nails today i do my own nails to be honest i don't go and get my nails done i did do shellac for a while i did it for about three months i think or four months and i feel like it ruined my nails so i'm kind of keeping them really short and growing them back healthy and strong. Uh, oh, and I did buy that Biab, Biab, builder, builder in a Bottle, I think it's called, and I thought I would try that. I bought it in a really neutral shade. This is, <laughs> battery died. I was saying, this is obviously a really lovely autumnal color. I love it, but it just shows the chips really, really quickly, and because my nails are not in the best condition, like post shellac the ends of my nails are a little bit flaky which they've never been before but obviously where they're flaky the nail varnish just comes off really quickly like within three or four days whereas normally even if I have a normal manicure I'm not even talking about gels 
if I have a normal manicure, it lasts me a week to 10 days. But that, So that tells me that my nails are not in the best shape. They're a lot, lot better since I started taking that new hair supplement that I talked about in a couple of videos ago. I would love to know if any of you took advantage of the special offer that I managed to do with the brand. I got a 22% discount for you guys, so I'd love to know if any of you got it. And I saw such a difference in my nails once I started taking that, like, over a period of time. So I'm continuing with those because they're not just helping my hair, they're helping my nails as well. But, yeah, so I'm keeping my nails short. I'm going to try that, oh, God, how do you say it? Builder in a bottle, but, you know, Biab, Biab, I'm sure there's the right way to say it. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to do that later. But tell me what you think of the makeup. I'm going to come into the light. We're on daylight. We are on no filter, obviously. I don't use a filter. And I love it. This is a bronzer that I've had tucked away in my drawers for the longest time. And uh, took it out the other day and love it because it's giving it all that sheen. I've got no highlighter on. It's just the bronzer, but it's like a... I'll show it to you. I'll take it. I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you the bronzer. It's just such a lovely bronzer because it does everything. It does the highlight and it does the contour and it does the bronzing. Absolutely love it. It's a powder, which, you know, I haven't used powder for the longest time. I don't really like using powders on my face anymore. I find them really aging. But now that the weather has changed and my makeup changes with the season a little bit, there are about four or five powders which I absolutely love. So I'll, yeah, I'll take you upstairs now and I will show you those powders because if you're interested and you kind of want to get back into using a powder again, even if it's over a cream product, these are the ones to go for. So these are the five powder products that I am absolutely loving. I mean, you can see how much I love this one. This is the Hyaluronic pressed powder from by Terry which I tend to use under my eyes because it doesn't dry out the under eye. This is a relatively new one into my makeup routine. This is from Sculpted by Amy. It's the Velvet Veil and it is a loose powder. Let's see if I can do this without <laughs> without dropping it. It's a loose powder and it is really really lovely for just blurring any imperfections. I also use this under my eyes because it doesn't dry out under my eyes. This also has hyaluronic acid in it as well. And this is a really lovely, lovely powder, but I just, it's not one that I can take in my handbag with me, obviously, because it's quite chunky and it's a loose powder. And can we just take a moment for the beauty of this? This is the bronzer that I was telling you about. So as you can see, it's lighter at the top and then it has a gradient down to the bottom where you get the darkest color. This is the bronzer that I'm absolutely loving and this is from Kevin O'Coin. I mean I've always loved all his makeup products. This one is just incredible. Laura Mercier absolutely needs no introduction whatsoever. This is the translucent powder but I love this because it's slightly tinted. It's in the medium deep shade and it is absolutely beautiful on the skin. Again, this is not one that I can pop into my handbag because it's bulky and it's a loose powder, but when I'm doing my makeup at home, this is wonderful. And at the risk of spilling it all over my bed, I just thought I would show it to you quickly. It looks a lot darker in the pot than it is on the skin. It's absolutely perfect for my skin tone. Last but not least, this is a blusher from Milani. It's literally been one of my favorites for years. I think this is the second one that I'm going through and I think that this is actually a classic like it's an iconic blusher. Can you see the sheen on that? It's absolutely beautiful. This is in the shade Luminoso and I love this. I bought this when I was abroad. I bought two of them but since then you can buy Milani here in the UK as well. Gorgeous. Good morning everyone, just me coming on here really quickly to finish off the vlog because I need to finish off the vlog. <laughs> I'm heading out tonight for something really fun so I thought that I would just end this vlog here and then probably pick up the camera again immediately. Well I need to go and put some makeup on. I've just washed my hair but I haven't put any makeup on. Um, but we are heading out for the Hans Zimmer concert tonight so 
I'm going to say bye to you for now and then I will pick up the camera again in a couple of hours and start next week's vlog which will start with the Hans Zimmer concert down in Westminster. Hope you're having a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Bye.